in, in Mexico, but this time I'm in Cabo. So this time we went to the Hard Rock Hotel. I'm, I'm sure you guys probably read a lot about the Hard Rock Hotel if you've been looking for a good place to stay in Cabo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk outside right now and see what the um, balcony view looks like. So um, you, you guys can just follow me out here. Let me see what we got. Oh wow, so even to check it out, we got like a little jacuzzi outside on the tablets, which is pretty cool. And then um, right downstairs, you can see the, um, the poolside areas that people can have outside at the back of their balcony. But um, I didn't want to second floor, so I didn't get one of those. But um, back here, we got the beach area, and that's going to look um, pretty fun in a little bit, in a little while, because I haven't been on a vacation in a long time. You guys know I haven't put up a video since like December of 20. Uh, 2019. So this is going to be my first video in 2020. This is going to be called Passport Kings in Cabo. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. And now if this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. Mexico has given us a little breathing room during these trying times. For one, the airport process is still one of the easiest I've experienced. It's like going through any airport in the US. It was really hard to choose a resort in Cabo because there were countless to choose from, and I had no prior experience in Cabo San Lucas. At the last minute, I decided on a hard rock, and it was a pretty good choice. All right, yo, so let's go check out my room and see what we got here. Oh, this is nice. Let me see, let me see. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking this one right here. Let me see. Yeah, we got the nice um jacuzzi in the bedroom right here. Let me see. There you go. I mean, the jacuzzi in the bathroom. Let's turn that on. That looks pretty nice. And it's a nice big old bathroom that we can really check out everything that we got to do here. And um, the bed, of course, that's the king, king size bed because it's password king. So, whatever size bed would you expect? But most importantly, let's see what we got going on outside. Oh, yeah. This is the terrace that I got going on. We got the swimming pool. Um, man, it's hot. It is hot out here in um, Cabo. So let's take on all of that. But yeah, we got the um, swimming pool. That is going to be a lot of fun. I got jealous of the rooms downstairs having a swimming pool, so I went back to the front desk and upgraded. It was only a couple of dollars more per night, but to do this resort right, I think it's well worth it. Right, so the place was spotless. Overall, it was beautiful, but a little quiet. The quietness is probably an unfair judgment because this is the middle of a pandemic and hardly no one is traveling anywhere. But if you are a couple who want to spend some rekindle time together in paradise, this is perfect. The resort plan turnips don't really start until the sun goes down. So literally you have all day to relax in these accommodations.
And again, I highly suggest the ground personal pool level because Mexico is hot. Hard Rock Resort in Fracionamente Diamante is located at 23473 Cabo San Lucas, Baja California Sur, and is directly on the Pacific Ocean. It's dope to see the world from this viewpoint, but according to the map view on the resorts on the Passport Kings booking website, which you can find here to book your trips now, it was also probably the furthest trip to any resort from the Cabo airport. Be prepared for about a 45 minute cab ride. With the pandemic still in effect, there was no shuttles busing more than one group to any location at a time. Make sure you watch to the end of the video so you can get my free book on how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Now the entire staff kept their face masks on and you will have to as well. The food choices were understandably limited to the sit down and order restaurants because having thousands of people eating at a buffet in these times would just be plain dangerous. The good thing was room service was quick and available all night long. The staff was super cool and they only came around when requested. If you're going to this resort, make sure you bring someone who thinks you're really cool and upgrade to the pool side. If you're interested in having your own travel business from home, full-time or part-time, check out the description for upcoming webinars to get you started. Now, have you ever been to Cabo? Type Viva La Mexico in the comments below and then tell me about your experiences. I love to read those. This is really part one of this video because before I went home, I spent a few extra days in another resort called Breathless in Cabo. If you're not just coming to Cabo for a romantic getaway and you really want to party right in the city, you are going to love Breathless. I will compare Hard Rock and Breathless and tell you which one will probably fit what you're looking for for your first vacation out of quarantine. And that should be up in a day or two, I promise. And once it's done, I'll attach it to the end screen credits of this video. 2020 has been rough on the travel industry and on travel heads such as myself. Slowly the world is getting itself back together and I can't wait to finish exploring it. So rejuvenate with your chick in the hard rock so you can get back into the game like a kid of Passport Kings. Peace.